An object is simply a collection of data, variables, and methods, functions. Similarly, a class is a blueprint for that object. Python classes. A class is considered a blueprint of objects. We can think of the class as a sketch, prototype, of a house. It contains all the details about the floors, doors, windows, etc. Based on these descriptions, we build the house. The house is the object. Since many houses can be made from the same description, we can create many objects from a class. A class can be created by class keyword followed by class name, and then we will set the attributes of that class. For example, if we create a class with the name of car then, we can set its attributes like car make, its color, its gears, year of manufacturing and transmission. These attributes will be assigned to the objects created with this class. Python objects. An object is called an instance of a class. Suppose car is a class then we can create objects like car1, car2 from the class. All the attributes of the class will be automatically assigned to the objects created by using that class. For example, we have created two objects car1 and car2 created by using car class, then all the specifications of the class like make, color, transmission, gears will be assigned to the both objects. We can assign different values to the each object like this. We can access the attribute value of any object by using object name dot specification. For example, if we want to view the make of object car1 then we can access the value like this. car1.make, and the result will be Toyota. And if we want to see the value of car2 object color then we can access by using car2.color attribute. You can access any object specification by using this method. This code defines a class named cars with attributes for name, color, gears, and transmission. The cars class is a blueprint for creating car objects. It has four attributes initialized with default values. Name, initially an empty string. Color, initially an empty string. Gears, initially set to zero. Transmission, initially an empty string. Object instantiation. Two car objects, car1 and car2, are created from the cars class. Setting object attributes. Car1 is set to represent a Toyota car with white color, five gears, and automatic transmission. Car2 is set to represent a Honda car with red color, four gears, and manual transmission. Output. Two formatted print statements display the information about car1 and car2. The first print statement describes car1, indicating that it is a white Toyota with five gears and automatic transmission. The second print statement describes car2, indicating that it is a red Honda with four gears and manual transmission. Overall, this code creates two car objects with different attributes and prints a description of each. It demonstrates basic class definition, object instantiation, attribute assignment, and formatted output in Python. Constructors in Python In Python, a constructor is a special method in a class that is automatically called when an object is created or instantiated. It is used to initialize the attributes of the class with default or specified values. This process is commonly referred to as object initialization. Here's a more detailed look at Python constructors. Purpose of a constructor. The primary purpose of a constructor is to set up the initial state of a new object. It typically assigns values to the object's attributes, performs any necessary setup, and may even validate the input parameters. In Python, the constructor method is named underscore underscore init underscore underscore. Defining a constructor. Oh, you define a constructor within a class using the underscore underscore init underscore underscore method. It is automatically called when a new instance of the class is created, and it usually accepts parameters that are used to initialize the object's state. The first parameter of the constructor is typically self, which refers to the instance being created. For example, a person class has two attributes, name and age. The both attributes will be assigned to the object automatically which is associated with class person. Here's an example of a class with a constructor that initializes some basic attributes. 
Class definition. A class named person is defined with a constructor method init and an instance method introduce. The constructor initializes the object with two attributes, name and age. It takes two arguments during object creation and assigns them to the instance's attributes, self, name and self, age. The introduce method, an instance method, uses the initialized attributes, name and age, to return a formatted string introducing the person. A new instance of the person class named person1 is created with the name Alice and age 30. This instance creation calls the init constructor, initializing person1 with those values. The introduce method is called on person1, which returns the introduction message containing the name and age of the person. The print function outputs the returned introduction message, which in this case is, Hi, I'm Alice and I'm 30 years old. This code snippet illustrates the core concepts of object-oriented programming in Python, defining classes, initializing object attributes, creating instances, and calling methods. It shows how classes can be used to encapsulate attributes and behaviors for a concept, in this case, a person with a name and age. This code snippet defines a class called addition that encapsulates the logic for adding two numbers and then displays the results. It demonstrates several key concepts in Python, class definition, parameterized constructors, instance attributes, instance methods, object instantiation, and interaction with class instances. Here's a detailed breakdown of the code. Class definition. Addition class. The addition class has three class-level attributes initialized with default values. First is set to zero. It represents the first number for addition. Second is also set to zero. It represents the second number for addition. Answer is initialized to zero. This will store the sum of first and second. The constructor initializes the instance with given values for first and second. The parameters f and s are passed to the constructor during object creation, setting self.first and self.second to these values. Display method. This method outputs the values of first, second, and answer in a formatted manner, using the print function. It provides information on the numbers involved in the addition and the calculated result. Calculate method. This method performs the addition of first and second, storing the result in the answer attribute. Object instantiation and operations. Creating objects, obj1 and obj2. Obj1 equals addition, 1000, 2000 This creates an instance of addition with first equals 1000 and second equals 2000. It calls the parameterized constructor, initializing these attributes. Obj2 equals addition, 10, 20 Another instance of addition with first equals 10 and second equals 20. Calculations and results. Obj1.calculate calls the calculate method on obj1. This sets obj1.answer to 1000 plus 2000 is equal to 3000. Obj2.calculate calls the calculate method on obj2. This sets obj2.answer to 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. Display outputs. Obj1.display displays the values of first, second, and answer for obj1, showing the addition result, first number equals 1000, second number equals 2000, addition of two numbers equals 3000. Obj2.display, similarly, displays the results for obj2, with an output, first number equals 10, second number equals 20, addition of two numbers equals 30. Overall, this code demonstrates creating a class to perform a simple task, addition, constructing objects with specific parameters, calculating results, and displaying them. It reflects a basic structure for encapsulating and reusing logic in object-oriented programming.